Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, what I am going to be doing is fitting a lever guard to my R1 track bike. Now, you uh, may or may not be aware that uh, MSV circuits, um, all the regulations have changed with effect from January 21. Any track days on, uh, on an MSV circuit now require a lever guard to be fitted. Um, if you don't have one fitted, you will not be granted permission to enter the circuit. To that end, um, No Limits track days have incorporated this regulation into all their track days, regardless of whether it's an MSV circuit or not. So it's worth um, being ahead of the game, getting one fitted to your bike uh, prior to January, and then you won't have any problems, and then you're good for the whole season. So, thanks for stopping by. Let's, uh, let's dig into it. Okay. The lever guard that I opted to purchase was um, made by RNG Racing. Um, as you can see, this is it's basically a universal, um, a universal lever guard. Uh, this particular one is made to. F it's obviously black. They come in different colours: reds, blues, all sorts of stuff. You know, you can um, buy one to match your bike if you wish. Uh, I've obviously opted for the black. Um, and this, uh, as I said, it's universal. This one, this particular one, is made to fit bikes with a 13 to 21 millimeter inside diameter on the clip-on. So that's what you basically need to uh, be mindful of. Just make sure you get one that fits your uh, fits your handlebars, uh, and you won't uh, you won't go wrong. So let's uh, let's open up the packet and see what we've got inside. All right, then let's tear into the package. And there's the uh, lever itself, it's made of plastic. It's nothing uh, nothing too. Uh, Nothing too hefty about it, it's quite light. And here's the fitting kit. Of course, the all-important RNG sticker. You uh, always get an RNG sticker with an RNG product. And here we have the destructions. So we'll um, we'll give a little look at those. Um, it's pretty straightforward fitment anyway, um, but we'll uh, I'll just check them and then we'll um, we'll dig into the actual fitment. Okay, so um, I've had a quick look at the instructions and they're pretty straightforward to be perfectly honest. Now there's two sets of instructions determined by um, the diameter, the inside diameter of your clip-on. Um, if it's between 13 and 18 millimeters internal diameter then there's a set one set of um, hardware that you use. If it's between 18 and 21 then you use the slightly larger set of hardware. It's pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, obviously that is where this is going to fit um, and uh, yeah, in order to uh, in order to fit it, obviously, I've got to remove the uh, the original bar end. So that's what I'm going to do next. Right then, on the, on this particular bike, it's a uh, four mil Allen uh, Allen headed bolt. Uh, it's not the same on all bikes because um, obviously some are simply uh, JAS screws. Um, obviously, you just need to remove whatever type of screw you've got on yours. There we go. Dead easy, wasn't particularly tight. Right, on the R1, or this model of R1 anyway, it just inside here, there's a threaded collar with a rubber bushing around it um, that needs to be pulled out, otherwise we aren't going to be able to fit the hardware for the new uh, lever, lever guard. So, um, that's, what we, uh, that's what we need to do next. Now, in order to do this, what I've got um, in my arsenal is a slide hammer and a selection of adapters that will simply screw into there and then I can bang it out. Um, Obviously, there may be other uh, options that you may want to employ. Some people may wish to just bang the uh, that collar into the clip-on further, so it's further down, so it doesn't interfere with the hardware. Um, whatever option you want to uh, want to pursue, uh, but I'm going to use my slide hammer and remove it. So let me go and get it out, and we'll crack on with that task. Okay. So what I've got here, this is actually a set of um, bearing pullers. Um, however. What we do also have in this kit is a selection of threaded studs. Uh, I reckon that one's going to be the one that we need. Yeah, perfect. 
it's got a little um, flat for a screwdriver, but we're not going to need it, it goes in by hand. And then here's a the slide hammer. And then that simply screws on to there like so. Um, I've used this uh, in other videos, it's, it's an absolutely brilliant bit of kit. If you do want one, I'll leave a description, um, a link in the description, should I say, um, and then you can uh, you can go and check it out. They're not expensive, I think 40-ish quid. Absolute bargain for a kit that's comprehensive as this. Anyway, let me get me slide hammer screwed on. Hopefully it won't take too many uh, wax to get it out. Okay, right, here we go. Here she comes, and there we are. And there's the bush. Right then, there's a little bush removed. That's all there was to it. Obviously, different bikes have different um, methods of fitting the bar end. Some of them have those little star-shaped washers which are uh, tapped in and then they grip on the outside of the um, on the outside of the tube. Um, those ones probably going to struggle to get them out in using the method I've just done. So you're probably be better off tapping them in further so that they're um, away from the hardware that we're going to used to fit the lever right then okay looking inside my um clip on the outside diameter here is 19 millimeters however right up inside you can see it narrows and that is only 16 millimeters now what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to check um when i put my hardware in whereabouts is actually going to grip in the tube because obviously if it's 19 millimeters then I need to use the larger hardware if it's 16 millimeters then I need then I need to use the smaller hardware so it's going to be a little bit of trial and error on this bike but it won't be too difficult so what I need to do open up the little hardware package oh look more RNG stickers the day just gets better that's four okay hardware then let's pop it open and have a look at what we've got and the bolt so the bolt's a long one so you can see how far in it's going to go if um if necessary and you have different sizes of fitting hardware there and we've got a little package here with an expanding collar now the expanding collar obviously needs to be the right size to fit inside the handlebar. Now that one won't go in any further than that. So obviously that isn't the one we want to employ. We want to be using the smaller one. So these two larger collars are for larger diameter handlebars. So again, they're redundant. So we want to use the two smaller parts. Now, according to the instructions, all it is a case of doing is popping the screw through the lever like so take the one one collar's got a thread inside and one collar hasn't the one without the thread goes on like so then the expanding uh, plastic section and then simply pop on the threaded one now what we need to do pop that in like so and then simply tighten up the uh, bolt. So let me grab me uh, let me grab my ratchet, and we'll give the bolt a tighten. Okay, as you can see, what I've done, I've um, pre-assembled the hardware that I require for this bar onto the bolt. And what I've done, I've um, expanded it enough so that it fits snugly in the hole, um, uh, you know, further up the tube. Um, because if, it's, if it doesn't, all that'll happen is as I try and tighten it, the whole, lot will, um, the whole lot will spin and we won't achieve anything. So, it's ready to fit. Um, and what I need to do is just snug it in just like so. But I need to be mindful of the fact that the throttle tube is against the lever guard. And as you can see, it's stopping its operation. So what I'm going to do, there we go. What I need to do is just pull it out ever so slightly and then tighten the bolt. But I need to make sure that it grips. And we've got a bit too much there. There we go. 
Right, so there we go. Let's tighten her up, make sure it's nice and snug and that it's not gonna come off. And I can feel it getting tight. And there we go, nice and, nice and tight. Yeah, it's good. And there we are. And that is all there is to it. There, um, obviously, um, what you can do um, on some bikes probably is actually maintain the use of the, 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 the nut that's already in there. On some bikes, you'll probably find that this bolt will actually screw directly into it. Uh, in which case you won't have a drama, you won't even have to use any of the hardware, you could just screw it directly on and you'll probably be perfectly, um, perfectly good with that. But yeah, as you can see, it fits nice and doesn't interfere with the brake lever and um, yeah, we're all, good for, uh, we're all good for next season. So, there we are. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you found this, um, this video entertaining, interesting. Um, and if you did, then uh, by all means give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll, leave a, uh, I'll leave a link to um, all the parts, the tooling that I was talking about a moment ago. I'll leave a link to the, uh, the actual lever guard as well. Um, so you can go and check them out. Um, don't forget also um, to follow me on the socials. Uh, check out Kev Shed on Facebook, uh, Kevin Shed on uh, Instagram, and Kev Shed on Twitter. And I'll see you all there. Thanks very much for stopping by. See you all again soon. Bye bye now.